Hey everyone. So if you have already un uh, watched the other video, you know that I'm pregnant. Today is October 27th. Um, I don't plan to announce my pregnancy to YouTube until like January or the end of December. So I still wanted to document my journey. Um, you know, it's good to be safe and everything and um, cautious. So we're not telling our family either until the middle of December. But um, I watched a lot of pregnancy vlogs and videos and um, they really helped me um, feel, not feel so nervous and like realize different symptoms and so I wanted to also chronicle my journey so people can go back and see what I went through. <clears throat> Today I am four weeks and five days. The last day of my menstrual cycle or the first day of my last <laughs> menstrual cycle was October 1st and um, I think I ovulated either the 16th or the 17th and then I had implantation bleeding on the 23rd of October. I got my first positive on Monday the 25th, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, that was like the first, like obviously I knew, and then every day since I've taken a test, and I have today's test. Which I waited until like today's mm -hmm. 11 DPO if I ovulated on the 17th. Um, I waited till now to use my first response because before I was using just internet cheap strips and I would get like a shade of a line and then I'd get a darker line. So I didn't want to waste my first response because those were way more expensive than the internet strips. But anyway, today I took my first first response and this is what it is can totally see it so yeah I'm pregnant <clears throat> and this is actually our first month of trying so um, we tried last month but it wasn't really an official try it was like we had we baby danced once when I thought I was ovulating but I wasn't tempting I wasn't really well I guess I did do um, ovulation strips pretty regularly but like I wasn't temping and I wasn't really sure when I had ovulated them um and I don't know if I had egg white um mucus I think I just had sticky I don't know anyway so this time I've been temping and there was definitely the drop and then the rise right after I ovulated and um I had one little bout of really egg white mm, um, discharge and that was on the 17th so that's why I think that was the day that I ovulated but it was like in the morning so I could have done it on the 16th at night I don't know but anyway so what we did was like I said I temped I did the pee sticks and monitored my cervical mucus discharge <laughs> and we baby danced every other day so um, I had downloaded an, a little app for my to track my temps and stuff and um, leading up to ovulation we had baby dance the 10th, the 12th, the 14th and then we didn't again until the 17th so we actually took three three days in between but it worked and then like I said I implanted on the that's Franklin. <laughs> on the 23rd and I know because I had I woke up in the morning and I wiped and I had brown and um, light brown and uh, light red um, blood and at first I was really upset because I didn't know if like we I didn't plan before and like I was losing like having a miscarriage or what but then um, as I wiped throughout the day I had one spot of like bright red blood like like a burst of blood vessel or something and then it just tapered off and tapered off so it only lasted for six hours the implantation bleeding and then that was it and then from, since then nothing um talking about my symptoms after i ovulated um i made a note i've had breast tenderness extreme breast tenderness for like two weeks like it's insane like my period they get a little bit tender but it's been constantly constantly um tender this whole time 
Let's see if I can find it. Since the 18th of last week, at least when I put a little note, which I think it's been going on since before that. So, that might have been too early, but they have been continuously sore this whole time. Like, extremely sore. And tired. So, so, so tired. Um, fatigue is, like, a big thing. Like, I took a nap both days this past weekend. Like, I was so tired. And every day after work, I'm just, like, dragging myself. Constantly yawning, which I'm going to do now. Just, like, no oomph. I'm just, like, oh, so over it. <laughs> um, a tiny bit tiny bit of smell aversion and a little bit of queasiness but mostly smell aversion like my sense of smell is like I can smell stuff and I'm just like oh, oh that smells so bad that smells so bad <laughs> um what else no headaches I think a little bit of bloating but nothing extreme I've actually lost weight um so I made a doctor's appointment today, my first one, and I got a midwife, and that is not until November 24th, so that's a long time away. But I guess they don't really make your first, what are you doing? Make your first appointment. She said 8 to 12 weeks, so I'll be 9 weeks then. Um, tomorrow, or Friday, I'll be 5 weeks. I turn on my days to turn over on Fridays so I was gonna wait till then but I just had some free time now my husband is busy studying so he won't be annoyed and I won't feel self-conscious filming um I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've also noticed some like weakness in my hands I don't know if that has anything to do with anything but like gripping things and opening things is a little bit difficult hmm what else um, my temps have stayed up. Um, the spike after I ovulated was mm, was 98.1, and that was on the 19th. So I must have been fertile until the 18th. So the 19th. And so my temp spiked. After that, it went to, before that it was 98.6, I think. And it had been as low as like 97. So I started on temping on the 12th, 97.0, 97.2. And then, um, like I said, on the 19th it spiked to 98.1. And then the next day it was 98.6. Uh, 97, 5, 97, 6, 97, 7, 97, 7, 97, 6, 97, 9, that was yesterday, and today was 97, 7. So, it, st it stayed up. It hasn't gone back down as low as 97.0, so that's good because your temp is supposed to stay up when you're pregnant. Um, oh, I've also noticed, like... I keep forgetting things like somebody will say something to me and I'll be like it'll like two seconds will pass and I'll be like what did you say what did you ask me to do what was I supposed to do or somebody will just ask me something and I'll be like hmm, I can't remember so I don't know if that's a symptom but that's also been happening to me um I got my flu shot before I got pregnant that was on the 11th so that's good our oh the I didn't say the due date would be July 8th which is kind of bad timing but oh well my husband is um if you've watched any of my other videos he's a fourth year medical student and he um will be graduating in may and will be starting a new life someplace else wherever he matches for residency it could be um any number of places so we won't know till march where he matches for residency but it literally could be virginia florida um, Michigan, I'm in Iowa, it could be here, it could be Illinois, it could be a ton of places. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure what we'll do about the delivery. If it's someplace far, I might just have to stay here. I don't know. I really don't want to have deliver my baby someplace where I haven't had 
my prenatal care with my midwife the whole time so we'll see what happens but I mean what can you do it's already done so anyway I'm gonna show my stick again so woohoo so this is kind of up close and personal because I for because I forgot to film this um during my first whoa 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 <laughs> During my first video, like, I've already recorded that. Anyway, I forgot to say, there's that forgetting again, um, that I've also had, um, <sighs> oh, increased, like, I feel like heart palpitations, not palpitations, but, like, my heart beats a lot faster, like, it has to work a lot harder, like, just walking briskly, like, I exercise every day. Um, I walk about 20 miles a week, so every day I do, every work day I do 2.5 miles, plus my regular work, whatever I have to walk during work. And then on the weekends I do 3 to 4 miles a day or more. I don't know. Anyway, so I've noticed just like climbing a flight of stair stairs or walking briskly down a hallway. I feel like, I forgot my breath. My heart's going really fast. I feel short of breath. I'm just like, oh, that was hard work just walking. So that's another thing. And then the other thing I forgot to mention was I feel a lot of uterine activities. Like, um, stretching. Twinges. Like, there's things going on there. I can feel them. Like, it's not cramping and it's not, sorry, it's not, um... painful it's just I'm totally aware of like move not movements but like things stretching pulling not pulling well I don't know weird weird movements in my uterus that I attribute to my uterus growing or something but I can feel them so anyway I forgot to say those things I will just edit this into the video I think Franklin wants to say hi though So he's gonna have a brother or a sister. I tried the ring, or not the ring, what well, you could do with the ring, the needle and the string test, but at first it said it was a boy, and then it said it was a girl. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Mwah. Um, so I hope it's not twins. Um, of course, I kind of want a girl because I love dressing up, obviously, and girly things, but we'd be happy with a boy. We're having really um, difficult time with names. My husband's particular, and I want a name that's unique. So, my name's unique, so we'll see what happens, but we don't want it too unique. So, anyway, that's week five almost. Um, I'm gonna try to do these every week, just as a chronicle for myself and for you guys in the future. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon. Bye.